Hello guys and welcome. Uh, I was thinking about something that I'm like only making covers on this channel and I was thinking about maybe I should do some vlogging as well just to you know let you guys know some more about me and stuff like that so here we go. It's Saturday today and I pretty much woke up around 11 and right now it's a clock like one o'clock so what I'm going to do now is get some breakfast or brunch or whatever you call it. Let's go! Oh, oh, that's right. Turn this off because of copyright. Oh well, I'm making drum covers all day. I don't care. So yeah, for you guys who are new to the channel, so you can say that I'm only making drum covers on this channel. But uh, I was thinking the other day that maybe I should do some vlogging because I I watch a lot of YouTube like you guys do as well, I think. And uh, I also stumble apart a lot of vlogs, and I mean, I mean I'm enjoying them when I'm watching them. So. I was thinking maybe I should do some as well. So here we are. I have not been planning anything on how this will work out today, but we will see. Stay tuned. People must think that I'm crazy when I'm driving and speaking at the same time because when I'm making a turn, you know, this microphone <laughs> is going everywhere and my camera is going everywhere. So uh, I hope I don't kill anybody today. <laughs> So now you may wonder what am I going to eat? Well, I really don't know. Uh, I guess I will go for some Thai food maybe. That was not yesterday, so let's go for that. See you soon, guys. Well then, I got my food and now I'm seeing that my battery is blinking red. So I have to get home and get some new batteries because I forgot all of them there. got home, changed the battery on my camera and I'm sitting in front of my computer right now and watching YouTube and Facebook as I always do and uh, I was thinking to start to editing on my new cover as well so we will see here's the place that I'm editing all my stuff and eating a lot of food and candy and when I finish with that so we will probably go to my rehearsal place and uh, check that out see you soon So if you have seen my covers before, have you probably seen that I have done a lot of Die Artist Murder covers and that's because they are my favorite band. So uh, right now I'm listening to their album Hate and that CD have been in my car for yeah over a half year now I think and uh, that's one of my favorite albums and I never get tired of it. I do have a quick shoe that I can put the microphone on the camera, but it's right inside of here where I have my rehearsal place, so I will fix that soon. So yeah, here we are. Oh, wrong key. So yeah, here we are. You have probably seen this room before, because this is the place I make all of my cover. As some of you guys may know or not, so I have not been uploading any covers lately. And that's because uh, I had some problem with this little thing. Because one day when I was uh, practicing here, so did I do like some test recordings and uh, then I realized that something wasn't right. So uh, I checked the playbacks and for some reason had some of my, you know, uh, the tracks, you know, they were like move out of nowhere. And uh, it you know, you can't hear it while you're recording because then it's like lie, you know. But when you're listening to the playback, uh, did I hear that something was wrong? So I texted some people that I know and asked, asked them what the problem was and all of them said the same that man I have never seen something like this before and I really don't know what the problem is. So at first I thought it was like <coughs> wrong settings on my computer maybe it was not 
uh, fast enough, you know, for some settings. So uh, I first set all the settings down, and uh, that didn't help. So I started to like upgrade stuff, like my interface and my computer, you know, new iOS and stuff. But that didn't either. Not that did not either work. So uh, I. Uh, checked like inside what I got with this MacBook and I realized I only had four gigabytes of RAM. Maybe, I mean, that is cool. I, I guess that that is standard for a computer, but when you're doing this kind of thing, do I guess you have to get more gigabytes of RAM so the computer can work faster? So I went online and checked for some new ones and then I found this. That is uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So now the computer works so much better. So hopefully can I be uploading more cover soon? So I feel like this is the perfect moment for me to answer some of your questions. And one question I get asked about a lot, I mean a lot, is uh, what kind of gear I'm using. So let's check that out. So here you have it guys, my drum kit. It's a Pearl Vision with the Concord fade finish, which means that it goes from like blue and then it fades to black. Uh, with the black hardware, which looks really cool. The snare I'm using is the Pearl Yo Yordison, or actually I'm using that, I don't know if you can see it. I actually got this uh, Gretsch Mark Schulman signature snare uh, a while ago, which I really like, but the thing was that one of those snare wires kind of broke, so that's why I put it on the shelf for like two days ago, so that's why I went back to my Joey snare. So yeah, what symbols do I use then? All of my symbols is Sabian, so Sabian, if you're watching this, please endorse me because I really like your stuff. This is a Sabian AAX Extreme China 17 inch, a Sabian AAX Explosion Hat 14 inch, a Sabian Radia Cup Chim 9 inch, Sabian Explosion Crash 18 inch. I do I have to say Sabian, you know it, it already is. 8 and uh, 10 inch AAX Splash, a Explosion Crash 19 inch, a AAX Extreme China 19 inch. We have right here a HH Power Bell Right 22. And here is my stack, which is a Studio Crash on top 16 inch. And under that do we have the Holy China 19 inch. The pedals I use is the Axis A longboards with the uh, Axis Markman beaters. And whoops, and the Hyatt stand I use is the Iron Cobra one. Really don't know what mo what the model number is, but it works fine. Tom heads Evans Easy 2, Kickhead Evans Emad. I got a endorsement from Art Beat Drumsticks, so I'm using their two B sticks. And since this is a pretty big kit, do we have the Pearl Icon Rack with uh, PCX 100 clamps and PCX 200 clamps? Uh, the symbol arms are mostly Pearl. There is some Tama ones as well, but pretty much all of it are Pearl. I bought this uh, mic set from AKG and I really don't know what it's called, but I think it's like drum set session one or something. They was pretty cheap, so that's why I got them and they, they work really fine. For the bass drums, so do I use the Roland trigger and this Roland TM2 module. The reason why I don't use the bass drum mic is because I don't have any more empty slots or space, you know, inputs on my interface. So hopefully for the future I can upgrade with another interface and have more inputs. So yeah, we will see about that. So now you probably know more about my kit and my endorsements. But another question I get asked a lot about is how do I practice? So I will show you guys how I practice. So yeah, everything is now all set up. And the thing I do when I'm practicing is just playing to songs. Uh, there is many ways to practice. Everyone has their own way to practice. And some people just doing those rudiments, you know, and that is cool. And some people just playing to a click track to practice their timing. But what I think is most fun and most motivating is to play to songs. So I'm going to start slow, like I always do, with a kind of slow song. And then just, just going to build it up so you can see how it looks like.
So as you saw, so they did not play the song exactly how it should have been playing, and uh, that's the thing. I'm playing what comes to my mind and trying new stuff, and uh, I'm still just in the beginning of my you know warm up. So start slow and just build up. So let's continue with the next song. And all the dance isn't the same, sometimes I need to like warm up with these kind of slower songs for maybe 40 minutes and sometimes I only need 5 minutes of it, so it really depends, but uh, also sometimes do I play songs and get so much adrenaline and when that happens, so can I pretty much go all in immediately, but I have my days just like someone else, so... <laughs> Let's step this up, shall we? So that is how it usually looks like when I'm practicing. I'm seeing that my camera is blinking red, so it's probably going to die soon. So tell me what you think about this video and if I should continue doing vlogs. So uh, we will see if I will do it or not. Also, one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you guys.